It can be a frightening experience to be hiking in the mountains in the snow and to be standing on a snowbank that gives way. In the wrong place, at the wrong time, hikers can be hurled down a mountain with no control over where they're going. In life, often the easy thing is to surrender control to the flow of social pressures, to calibrate our moral compass to what is popular. But if we do this, we sacrifice a significant portion of our precious agency and we no longer control where we're going, like the hiker being thrown down a mountain in an avalanche. If we want to hold our ground and remain secure, we must be anchored. But it's not enough to be anchored to something else that's also falling down the mountain. That doesn't work. It may feel good to be holding on to something, but we still don't make our own choices. At that point, our choices are being made for us. No, we need something more secure. Like a boat overnighting at a dock, if anchored only to another boat that is also free-floating, they will both be helpless as they're carried out by the tide. Like an astronaut, tethered to a spacecraft during a spacewalk. Like a kite tied to a string. At first glance, these tethers may appear to be restricting freedom. But upon further study, we find that the tethers are the very thing that are preserving freedom. We want to be free. God wants us to be free. Free to act for ourselves and not simply to be acted upon by the world like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. The greater the avalanche, the fewer things that stand firm. We live in a world of significant moral erosion. One thing we are told that will never fail us, that will always stand firm, is the pure love of Christ. When sore trials come upon us, sometimes completely by surprise, with no time to prepare, in whatever catastrophe we may find ourselves. The anchor points of the world may hold for a while, but eventually give way. But our Savior Jesus Christ, stronger than the most impressive mountain, more secure than solid bedrock, he will never fail us. We must be anchored to him.